So notice how it's called acting as if, not spending as if. How to act as I already have what I want without going into debt. Who here wants clarity around that? Because I feel like this is a really good one. And I want to, I, I really want to clarify this because a lot of people misconstrue this. So, hi, I'm having trouble with acting as I already have what I'm manifesting. So for context, I'm manifesting 100K months. How exciting. My current revenue is lower than that. How to act as the person who already earns that amount of money without spending more of what I really can at this moment. I don't want to go into debt. What am I missing? So notice how it's called acting as if, not spending as if. Okay? You're, you're acting as if, not spending as if. And what I mean by that, I want you to also think about how the 100K version of you isn't spending money that she doesn't have. She's not engaging in the act of spending money that th she doesn't have. Otherwise, she wouldn't have got there. So you, in acting like that version of you, is also not spending money she doesn't have. Okay? So notice that very meta high level connection between the two. A lot of people, what they do is they focus on embodying the end product. So they're looking at the end product and they're seeing this version of them who's physically experiencing reality in a specific way. Like, well, this version of me is flying first class. This version of me has Prada shoes. This version of me drives a certain car. Does that mean I go and buy all those things? No. We're not embodying the end product. What we are embodying is the energy that creates that money. So you guys now know that energy creates reality. So look at the energy that you currently embody and the reality that you currently have. Think about the energy of that version of you and the reality that is created through that energy. And then ask yourself, what is creating all this? that she has that I can tap into right now that involves nothing actually physical. There's some physical elements to it, but it's not the end result. Does that make sense? I know this is kind of like ethereal and esoteric and thinking about energies and whatnot, but it makes sense in the fact that when you're embodying the 100K per month version of you, you're thinking about what created that money. So you're looking at how does she speak about money? What are her beliefs about money? What is her financial nervous system like? Which we talk about a little bit later in the program. What does she consume? What kind of social media does she consume? Who does she spend time with? What are the kinds of friends that she has? What are her boundaries like? What are her values? How does she take care of herself? What does she focus on? What are the types of investments that she makes? Listen how it's not spending, but it's just what kind of investments does she make? Did she work with a specific mentor? Can I access that mentor now to the degree that I can? Maybe I can't do one-on-one -on -one with them, but maybe I can take one of their courses. What kinds of courses does she take? What kinds of books does she read? Right? What does she deem to be important? What is she saying yes to? What is she saying no to? That's what's creating the money. Right now, the reality you're living is a product of the energy that you've been embodying, the beliefs that you've been embodying, the way you speak about money, all those things up until now. So you're looking at, okay, how did she get there? What is the energy that she embodied to create those results? And it's by embodying the energy of that 100K version of yourself that's then going to create the end product. A lot of people make the biggest, fattest mistake, which they do go into debt because they're like, oh, fuck it. Like, I'm going to spend like the 100K a month version of myself. But again, high level. She didn't get there by spending money that she didn't have. So clearly, that's not the answer. Okay. So you match creational energy with creational energy, not end result with end result. Otherwise, you will overspend. Because, I, yeah, it's act as if, not spend as if, right? I feel like that's the easiest way to remember. Now, will there be moments, you guys, where you might need to circulate some money because you're approaching your life from a place of faith, not fear? Like when I did invest $15,000 into Tony Robbins that one day, 
where I literally did not have the $15,000, I still spent as much as I could, right? It wasn't like I put 15 grand on the credit card. I put myself on a payment plan and I just created a plan for how I'm going to teach myself financial responsibility through this loan, through this credit card, through these payments, And so still embodying that version of myself who invests in herself, but I'm doing in a way where I feel really aligned with. So that is what led me to then becoming a certain version of myself because again, I'm embodying her on a higher level. It's not like, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to blow 15 grand that I don't have. It's like, how can I do this in a way where I'm using money that I already have? 